Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with UFC middleweight Mark Munoz. Mark, uh, you had a hard-fought loss against Yushin Okami. Uh, what did you take away from that going into your fight with Aaron Simpson? Man, I just took away the experience, man. You know, I mean, he uh, basically gauged the distance really well. He was disengaging when he needed to be disengaged, and he engaged when he needed to. So, I mean, that was his 30th fight, and that was only my 10th. So, I mean, I've only been fighting for a little over two years. So, but... You know, I learn from every fight, you know, and, and I always improve after every fight. And Yushin, now he's, you know, a top contender. He's going to go for the belt, you know, if he wins this one. So, you know, I'm there, man. I'm there, and I'm improving every day. And, you know, I know that I can stand with the best. And that's what I take from this fight, well, from that last fight, is that, you know, I know I can stand with those guys. I know I can compete with those guys, you know, and, and I just got to believe in, in my hands when, you know, when... When I know my background's wrestling, I was trying to take him down, but I need to believe in my hands, man, because I got, I'd be dropping bombs, you know, I got to believe in them. Uh, being the athlete and the competitor that you are, do you feel it's only time and experience that's working against you, you know, as opposed to, you know, the actual training and picking things up? You know, no, I think uh, for me, I, uh, you know, you're definitely a product of your environment, and I have a lot of good fighters that are training under my, under my you know, under the rain banner, you know, at my gym and you know those guys are you know without them I wouldn't be improving you know so we all help each other we go out you know we give what we can give to each other and that's what makes our gym so unique because you know we we act as a team you know nobody you know you check your ego at the door when you come in you know it's all about learning it's all about you know pushing each other and making each other better so I'm pretty excited man for for this next fight coming up because I've learned a lot, and I learned a lot about myself in that last fight, and I'm looking to take it to the cage, when, you know, take it to the octagon. Yeah, you know, clearly heavy-handed, uh, excellent wrestling pedigree. Do you feel it's just chaining those two things together that's, uh, you know, kept you from, from getting that W over Okami? Oh, yeah, man. Um, you know, this is mixed martial arts. You know, it's, it's whoever is better in the transitions, you know. So he was able to sprawl and brawl, you know, basically. And, and you know what? I, I didn't know you got points for for stuff and shots, you know. I was trying to take him down because, you know, for me, you know, I, I feel comfortable on top and, you know, I was trying to take him down, but you know what? You know, you can't leave it in the judge, judge's hands either, you know, and, you know, I did win the second round. The first round could have went either way, you know. It was, you know, it was a really close fight, you know. It could have went either way, so, you know, I just, I'm always looking to finish the fight, though. I think that's why people like to watch me fight because I don't just like you know, scoring points. I want to go out there and I want to finish it. How familiar are you with Aaron Simpson uh, from your wrestling days? And also, you know, what do you feel he brings to the table as a competitor and how are you going to overcome that? Yeah, me and Aaron going back, man. We're, we're actually good friends. And um, when, I, when I got the call to fight Aaron, I was like, oh, man, that sucks, dude. There's so many guys to fight and I got to fight my buddy, you know. But we're both professionals and, you know, we... We gotta we, we gotta go out there and, and put on a show, you know, because uh, this is what we do. Now here's a funny story. Back in about 2006, we were both coaching. I was coaching for UC Davis. He was coaching for Arizona State, and we both had guys that went to the NC2A National Championship Division One National Championships over at the over at the Palace of Auburn Hills. There at the palace, we end up training together, and this is when we started to get into it. And we end up like, hey man, we should do MMA, we should do some, you know, some, some stand-up, you know, we should do some wrestling too. And we train together, you know, I trained together when I, was, when I go, went to Arizona with him. And um, we end up being in the same weight class, in the same organization. And now the place where we trained together, first started training, we're actually gonna fight each other at the Palace of Auburn Hills. Funny story, right? Yeah, so who got the uh, the better of who in that, in that exchange initially when you guys first started uh, grappling and doing stand-up? Uh, you know, we were both new, man, and, um, you know, we both have great camps. I think it was about even, you know, it was about even. Um, I don't think we submitted each other because we didn't know any submissions. <laughs> so, uh, but we were, we were trying to take each other down and trying to pass each other's guard, and, you know, we just... You know, wrestling is in our blood, you know, and that's that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to scramble, and, you know, I think this fight's going to be one in transition. Whoever's gotten 
the striking and the wrestling and the wrestling and jujitsu down enough to be able to score points and and you know to set up your uh, your finishes you know set up your either your submissions or or um, or good strikes you know kicks kicks knees elbows or punches. There's obviously an initial reluctance to fight your friend. Now as UFC 123 approaches, are you excited to punch Aaron Simpson in the face? You know what? No, I'm not. You know, but you know, I'm going to try to put somebody's face in front of him. <laughs> try to picture somebody else's face, but you know, afterwards we'll hang out, you know, and uh, we'll definitely hang out afterwards and and talk about it, you know. This is something that we could share together for for our lifetime, you know, and and um, yeah, we'll take each other out for dinner when when the time arises, you know, but you know, come November 20th, UFC 123, we're competitors. And then afterwards we'll be friends. Mark Lunios.